Assalamualaikum and hello. So somebody can tell me whether you can hear me or not. I can hear you, doctor. Testing. Testing. Yeah, I can hear you. Hello. Hello, somebody can respond to me. Hello. Yes, doctor, can hear oh, you. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, technical problem. Okay, so for today, we continue with uh, power in balance system as well as three phase system. So we start uh, power in three uh, in balance system. Okay. So you can check your textbook. Okay, this is power in balance system. You can see here there are a lot of explanation here. But actually, you can easily understand this okay, by using this one only. Okay, So basically, in the single phase, okay, your formula will be P is equals to uh, V RMS sine uh, I RMS cos theta correct so this is single phase right now you're using three phase so for three phase your power should be for balance only eh? for balance only balance load okay p is just the same formula v r m s i r m s cos theta but don't forget to put three because you have three phase. Okay, you have three load. Okay. So that's why you have to multiply by three. Either star or delta, it should be multiplied by three. And this value should be in phase. Okay, always use phase. Okay, so I remind you again, always use phase value. So same as Q, okay, V, R, M, S, I, R, M, S, cos, theta, okay. So this one is for single phase, but for three phase, just put three V, R, M, S, I, R, M, S, sine, theta. Okay, this one is sine, eh? Okay, and of course, I re remind you again, this one is in phase okay do not use line okay line voltage or current do not use it okay okay how about s also the same the formula is all the same except you need to put three you can see here this is the formula s is equal to three sp okay equals to three VP, IP. Also, for complex equation, also you need to put 3. Okay. And this one you should be careful. Okay. If you calculate P, if P already uh, multiplied by 3, you cannot multiply 3 again. Okay. So make sure you be careful. Uh, if they said that uh, P is, uh, P is uh, power of all load, means that it's already multiplied by Three, so you do not, uh, you do not multiply by three. Okay. Uh, where is it? Okay. So same, eh? everything same, except you have to multiply by three, and you have to use phase. Okay. So how about if you want to use, uh. You want to use line instead of phase. So remember, VL is equals to uh, square root of 3 V phase. Okay, so means that V phase is equals to VL divided by square root 3. Same here, IL is equals to square root 3 V phase, AR uh, I phase. Okay, okay, this one is for star. Okay, this one is for delta. Okay. 
spell ta. So i face is equals to i line divided by square root 3. So uh, for this case, okay, let me move this. Okay, if you want to use a uh, line also, uh, if you want to use the line, so you can see here p is equals to 3i uh, v face i face cos theta. So if you use this formula, okay, so p is equals to 3. Okay, a uh, V phase is equals to this. If this is star connection, is basically divided by square root 3. Okay, V line and V phase and line is the same. So, I line cos theta and the final is, you simplify this, P is equals to square root of 3, V line, I line cos theta. Okay, this is for delta and as well as star. Okay, both are the same because it will only change which one is this. Okay. So that's it. This is how you calculate the power for three phase system for balance load only. Okay. So let me give you some example. Okay. Okay, I think this one is a good example. Okay, refer to circuit uh, 12, uh, figure 12, 13, example 12.2. Okay, find the power. Okay, so we look at the figure 12, 13. Okay, where is it? Okay, this one. So this is uh, a balance load. Okay, you can see here this is a balance load. So from this example, you can see here you already find the Okay, you have uh, find the IA, IB, IC. Okay, you have find IA, IB, IC. So the load is this one. So you can use the formula here. Let me. Okay. So 110 balance load. Okay. So I, you already calculate I. So maybe you can use complex number S. Okay, complex number is S equals to. Okay, V. Oh, for this case, you have to use I because you already found I. Okay, I multiply by Z. Okay, I squared Z. Okay, so no need to. Conjugate, okay, because you don't have any voltage, okay. So this one, so I, you only take one, eh, because uh, this is balance load. You just multiply by three, okay. For three phase for balance load, you just need to multiply by three, and you don't need to calculate all. You just focus on one value. So as so S equals to 3 multiplied by the current here. Uh, the current is okay, this one 6.81 okay, squared. Okay, do not take the angle. Okay, if you have squared, do not take the angle. And then the Z is uh, 5, 10, 15. Okay, because it is in series. And wait, eh? uh, we need to know whether it, it wants to calculate 
the load only or the load and the line. So let me check first. Okay, total average power, complex power at the source and at the load. So means that you have to calculate both. Okay, at the source means that you have to include the line also at the load. You only have to include the load. So we calculate the, the source first. Let me go back here. Okay. If they said at the source means that you have to include both line as, as well as the load. Okay. But if you uh, only want to find at the load, you have to look at this spot, okay? A, B, C means that you only consider this part. So consider both first. Okay, 5 and 10 is 15. Negative 2 and 8 is plus J6. Okay, so S equals to. So use your calculator. Okay, practice to use your calculator. Okay, so the answer is 2086.92. Okay, plus 834.77. J. Uh, uh, so uh, for complex power, make sure you try to get the rectangular form also okay so because uh, complex power shows many result at the same time so this one is 2247.69 angle 21.8 okay 21.8 degree okay so uh basically from this, you can extract P is equals to 2086.92 Watt. So Q is 834.77 VAR. S, uh, apparent power is equals to 2247.69 and the theta is 21.8. Okay. So this one is source. The power from the source. So let us check first the answer. Okay, where is it? Okay, SL. This one is load. Okay, this one is source. So you can see here the real power is up is two. Okay, two zero eight seven. Okay. And reactive power is this one. Okay, negative. Why is this negative? Because uh, according uh, if positive means that uh, you look at the load side, but at the source you have to put negative. Eh? Okay, this one uh, usually we don't consider too much, but if you want to consider this, if you look at the source, you can put negative. Okay. So this one uh, depend uh, depend on you whether you want to put negative or not. Okay, if you put negative, you can say that the real and average power absorb is negative. Absorb, eh? Absorb is negative. But if you say that the power source supply, you cannot put negative. So make sure you be careful with this. Okay. So the question asks you the power, average power, reactive power, and complex power. So you have the answer here. So you have complex power. This one, E and Q. Okay. How about at the load? Okay. So if you you want to calculate at the load, let me go back here. Okay. 
Okay, if you want to use the load only, instead of consider uh, the line, uh, this line, okay, phi minus j2, you only consider at the load. So, load only. Okay. So, for this case, you can just use the same formula as equals to 3i squared, uh, okay, 3i squared, Z, okay, 3, 6, 6.81 squared, okay. Remember, if you square, do not include the angle. And then the Z, of course, do not conjugate. Okay, and then this one, you just use the load only. Okay, so S... Okay, S is equals to, okay, use your calculator. So, practice with your calculator. Ten plus eight J. So, you get the answer, 1392.28 plus 1113 zero two. Uh, zero three j okay of course uh depending on the question but i suggest you put both answer because it has multiple information okay so one seven eight one point seven one angle thirty eight point six six degree so that is how you calculate the power at three phase system and balance load. So basically just put three at the beginning. Okay. And you, of course you have to use the phase. Okay. You have to use the phase parameter, phase uh, voltage, phase current. Okay. So that's it uh, for balance power. Okay. We will continue with unbalanced system. So before we proceed, uh, take your attendance first. Okay, we will continue back uh, at 